welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so we've got some big canvases going on here, but did you see that intro? How can you miss it? This Sunday is the Great Switcheroo Part 4. I'm very excited. I cannot wait for this weekend, and you guys are going to have a lot of fun. For those of you who would like to tune in, the party starts at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, starting on my YouTube channel at 3 o'clock, followed by Tammy at 3.15, followed by B. Um, R. Turner at 3.30, and then the Massey Boys from Massey Art Studio at uh, 345. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Guys versus gals. Um, so tune in, mark your calendar, set your alarm, whatever it is you need to do, and come and watch and have some fun and chat live with us for the premieres. Um, so that is super exciting. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I want to mention. I am sure there is, but I... <laughs> I have a massive headache and so I'm just going to talk a lot less than I normally do. However, I wanted to get this piece done. It's a commissioned piece for my client and these are three 15 by 30 inch canvases. All right, so they're pretty big canvases and typically if you know me well, I do paintings like this size and I'll add, you know, seven, eight colors to my palette and, you know, lay it all down however in this one i'm only using four the client specifically wanted these colors and these colors only um so i tried coercing in some extra colors in there and she's like nope i want just these colors so that is what we're doing tonight now i did however um do two test pieces because i originally in the color palette we had a mauve and then last minute she decided to take the mauve out, but I wanted to see what it would look like with mauve. So I did two 12 by 16 inch canvases, one with the colors and mauve, and then one without the mauve. And those are really right now on the other side of my table behind my camera. So when I'm done doing this, I will show you guys those two pieces as well. I did record them, but I don't know. Do you want to see them on YouTube and see the video of how I created those pieces? If you do, let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, I am going to flood my three canvases with my Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White paint. It is mixed with water and Floetrol. For those of you who are new watching my channel and would like to know how I mix my paints for my base paint as well as my colored paints, you can check out video number 63. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who would like to check that out. I am going to speed you guys up while I flood my canvases and I'll be right back. the sides are ready to go and let's get started so we are going to start with 24 karat gold by deco art then we have pewter by deco art then we have rose gold by deco art and topping it off we have light rose by amsterdam now I'm a little worried because I have three deco art metallics here and only one non-metallic paint, um, which is another reason why I was trying to coerce my client <laughs> to add another color. But um, we will see how this works out. So I'm going to go light on the pewter because it does tend to take over. And I don't know if you can see, but I have these black marks here on the table. Uh, I don't know if you can see that up there. So those are my guides for my composition. 
My client saw one of my older pieces, you know, before the wispies and she wanted that particular composition. So what we're doing is we are starting down here and ending up here. And then we are going to go from here across and end up here. So I had the lines down with pencil, but I figured now by adding these lines, these marker lines here on the table, I'll know exactly where my pencil lines were. So let's start and uh, let's, oops, I totally missed the spot. Hold on. I missed the whole, this whole side of the canvas. If you, I guess if you rewind and catch the uh, sped up version, you'll see I totally didn't do this side. Good thing I noticed before I did my blowout because you gotta make sure your canvas is wet or else the paint's not going to flow down the side properly. It's just going to get stuck kind of thing. So you want to make sure you got your canvas and your sides fully wet. Okay, I did do the rest. All right, so let's start. Now I'm probably going to have to lay the colors down pretty thick because there's only four of them, but I don't want to lay them down too much because you just never know how all these metallics are going to react, right? So there we go with that. And then we go here to here. And here. All right, so the initial line is down. All right. The rest should be easy, right? <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna try and do the pewter not so much as the rest. I think I like the um, rose gold and the light rose the most. Those are my favorite out of the bunch. So we shall see how this is going to work out. Loading that in there, but again, you just never know with these metallics. You guys, if you watched my video where I did the um, the purples with the gold and I put so much gold down, it totally just totally moved and dispersed all my paints and, you know, totally shifted my composition. My apron's wet with white, so obviously I touched the apron somewhere. All right. I'm loading in this light rose. And you know what? I think I am going to, no, I'm not. I was gonna add a little more of the, the rose gold, but I'm not. All right, I'm gonna pop the bubbles real quick then I'm gonna figure out how on earth I'm gonna blow this when it's so far away up there but I shall figure it out like I always do all right so question now see I didn't even think about this prior I didn't think about how I was gonna blow this out um, all right so I think I'm gonna start here in the middle and then figure out the sides as I go so let's go.
Wow, look at the cells forming. Okay, how I sh gonna get up there is the question. Wow, look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. There's a big air bubble right there. Oh, wow, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let me look at this after. Let me continue. I'm standing on my son's <laughs> step stool here. Hopefully I don't face plant. All right, which way do I want to go? Inwards. Let's go in. All right, I don't think my hair dryer is gonna reach, so I'm going to plug it in on this side real quick. I didn't get my extension cord, but that's okay. That's why I have all these outlets kicking around. All right. unplug that because it's on fire right now oh my gosh I don't even know where to look first <laughs> I really like the colors it's so soft oh I love it yeah I don't even think I really need to mess with any of it when I bring you guys down for a close-up you're gonna notice the pewter has left a beautiful outline around all of this and then the gold and the rose gold are on the outside of it so there's going to be some seriously beautiful shimmer on this you know what i'm not touching any of this i'm going to leave it as is and of course my remote is over here so i am going to fix all my sides with my white paint and i'll be right back all right everybody i have to be so far back just so you can see everything now don't forget to get your stick and scrape all your drips i've already done mine all the way around all of them make sure you get all your drips because that is going to help um prevent the drips from pulling on your paint and ruining your composition all right so here they are now let's bring it in real close the shimmer on this is going to be stunning with the lights off. I can already see it. Look how pretty that is. The pewter and the rose, the light rose mixed in so nicely. And I'm so glad I did not overload the, the pewter on this because it's just the right touch. And here's that outline I was telling you about. It just seems to have an outline right you know in the center there and then the color just explodes with the gold and the rose gold it is so unbelievably like i love this i was so skeptical about these colors because first of all there's only four of them look at the cells that is amazing so four colors three of them being like a metallic color I was like, I don't know, I'm so used to using like six, seven, eight, sometimes nine colors, but wow, once again, 
my clients are always proving me wrong. Let me tell you, she was just adamant. And she's like, nope, these are the colors I want. And that is it. Look how pretty it is. I'm really happy with this. All right, I'm going to turn the lights off and the flash on and let's check out the shimmer. All right, so let's see what we've got. And of course, there's going to be shimmer in this whole entire piece because, like I said, three of the colors were all metallic. Look at that. It's amazing. I, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna go to the top because you'll get the idea. But look at that. I I love this piece, and wait till I show you guys the other two. So drastically different, big time different. Like when this gets crystal resin, this is going to be gorgeous. All right, one more panel. Let's check this one out. I love it. I love, love, love the cells. It's amazing. All right, so let's turn the lights on and check out those other pieces. All right, so here I am on the other side of my table. Excuse the mess. Now, here is the same color palette as what I just did. So this was my tester piece um, on a 12 by 16 inch canvas. So it looks exactly the same. And then this one was the same colors, but I added um, mauve by Holbein. Um, and I it was the last color I put on top. And I love it too. Like, I mean, the, the purple is definitely dominant in this. Um, had I put the, the mauve, sorry, on the bottom and the light rose on top, it could be a completely different look. Absolutely. It all depends on what you put on the top. What is the last color you're going to put down? That is the most important. That's what's going to show the most. So I put the mauve because I love the color, but there you have it. Those two pieces. Now these are on 12 by 16 inch canvases and they are available for sale. If anyone is interested in these smaller um, tester pieces of mine, um, I'm probably going to put the video up on YouTube at some point. Um, I did no talking in it though, so that'll be a change. It'll be a quiet video, but, uh, but yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> so, um, yeah, so let me just show you guys the uh, final piece again. Sophia, you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> All right. So there you have it, my friends. Uh, I would love to know what you think about this piece in the comments below. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. I have my links for um, all the discounts you need, crystal resin, all that stuff, Loli Vefi. Um, there's that website for the Etsy shop that sells the Australian flow trial. Check that out in the description below. PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. Um, that is it guys. Um, I think I had everything. Um, if I forget, oh, don't forget great switcheroo part four this Sunday, starting at 3 PM Eastern standard time, starting on my YouTube channel, followed by everybody else. So marketing your calendars and let's have a good time. So until then guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Take care. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>